Hi, it's Lance here, uh, painting you from Montana. Today, uh, I've got an oval up here I'm going to paint for you. And uh, hopefully, if you want to paint along with me, you can. Or if you'd like to, you can just sit back and relax and maybe enjoy the video. Hopefully, it's relaxing and stuff. So uh, I'm going to do an oval. I found some at the art store, three-pack of them for next to nothing. And uh, pretty good size. I've got it kind of up here. And I've got some tape on it because I'm struggling to get it to stay. But... Hopefully it'll it'll stay on there and it doesn't fall off uh, during the painting. So um, this will just be a quick one and hopefully it turns out good. So thanks for uh, checking in and watching and uh, let's get after it. Okay, let's get started here today. Hopefully this uh, turns out. Here's my palette. I'm going to try to get that in, in, in there so you can see more. Um, hopefully we don't get too much glare over here, but um, let's get going. I'm going to start out with some yellow ochre really gotten into orange lately too. See, I'm just got a one inch brush here. I'm just taking a little bit. I'm gonna start right about here, okay? Just a little bit of light, not much. Okay, and I'm gonna take, come down here and do the same thing, okay? A little bit down here. Just a little bit of yellow ochre on there and it's mixing with the white, okay? Let's come back and forth here. Gives us a little color right in there. Okay, can you see that? Is that too bright? Hopefully not too bright. Okay, a little more right in there. Oh yeah. There. And your horizon might be there. Okay, I want to do a little orange. Okay, a little orange right there, and a little bit down here. These ovals are kind of cool, you know. If you uh, want to have some. And then, and of course I forgot it, we'll just use red today. Darn it. Tiny little bit of red. I forgot my crimson, so I'm not gonna use it today. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a little red. Put that right above it, right there. Okay, a little bit down here. It's a smooth canvas. Okay, a little bit of red. Okay, and then I'm going to go into some uh, blue, mix it with that red, just a little bit of phthalo blue, grab a little red, and it'll kind of turn orange, purplish, see how it looks, oh yeah, I think that's really nice, let's kind of come out here, pull it down, bring it up, that looks good, okay, put some of that down here. And down here is probably going to be water, so we're just going to go straight across, okay? And this, these will all blend together. and get a little more red down there. There we go. See that? There's your purple. I don't need a lot here because I think I'm going to have some bushes coming down, okay? Let's try to get a little more purple in there. There. See that? Just tapping into that red. Blue makes lavender, purple, whatever. There. What does that look like? That does, looks pretty good on the screen. So um, I'm trying out these new, um, um, hmm. I'm trying out my new uh, mics today. I've got one up here, if you can see it, <laughs> one on my shirt. So, um, okay, and now what I want to do is I'm going to come in, kind of wipe that brush off a little on a paper towel. It's over in the corner. And I want to come back in and grab just pure some blue and I might get a little Prussian in there. So I want this to be darker up here. Okay, a little blue there. See, and that's just a little darker. Blue up top, and we do the same thing in the water. There, that Prussian's dark. What else have I got over there? Oh, that. There. Okay. So that looks good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this big brush. And start blending all this and when you use oils it's super easy right okay hopefully this doesn't fall down we want to start in the middle and just kind of blend it this will be nice and soft okay you can uh, you can do this not hard i can do it anybody can okay and you just kind of work your way up and you might have some little streaky things up there see that looks good Okay, then we can come down below and, you know, 
the thing is I'm going to use another one because that if I take that down here, it'll get dirty. So a lot of it's off though, but we'll come down here again, right here. Okay. Blend those together. And down here, we'll just go side to side. Let it wisp out. See? And then go over here. Same thing. Now, if this was acrylics, it's a little bit different process to acrylics. Um, okay. Bring a little bit of it up. And there's our... And look too bad. Now, if you want, I can come in and add some more white to it. So I'm going to grab another brush right here and I'm just going to grab a little a little of my let's see if I can do this a little white I'm going to just come right here and just kind of work it out it'll brighten that up a little bit I'm going to put this down because I want to hold my I don't want this moving too much see and then you just work your way up up and out Okay. You can just go back and forth. However you want. That looks pretty good. Okay. That brush is done. <laughs> so I'll grab another. I got all kinds of them. This way you can go faster. Grab a little bit down below here. Do the same thing. Okay. Just work it. And then just kind of bring it down here. Out there. And bring it down to here. Shoot. We could be done right now. We've already got a painting that looks pretty good. And there's your colors, kind of wild looking colors in there, isn't there? Okay, and I'm trying to go, f I'm going to show you how easy it is to do a painting um, pretty fast. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is take some blue. Should we put a few clouds up there? We can do that too. I'm just going to use a fan brush. And I'm just going to go like this and tap in there. See that? Just get some of it on there. Okay, you take a little blue if you want. A little touch of red. A little more white. Okay, I'm just smacking that in there. A little more white in there. Okay, and then you can come up here. And maybe you want a little cloud that's right here. And I'm just going to push and spin. Okay, just like that. Grab a little more. Let it fly down that way. Now, since we're trying to push the eye in, right? <laughs> there, just kind of do that. There's your cloud. And grab a little more. I might start some more white here, too, again. And then maybe there's another one right here. See, just kind of moving the brush around. You know, pretty easy. There's your clouds. How's that look? Yeah, just some kind of just hanging down. Maybe one comes down here. Little, little one comes down and comes into here. No, I don't know. Put that there. You can use the top of this, the bottom, whatever. Push it up, making little clouds. They're easy. Okay. There, done. Clouds are finished. Then you can take this big brush that I had, and uh, you know you can come in and on the bottom. You could do that. Kind of pull them to the side. Maybe this one needs to be pulled that way a little bit. There's some wisps in them or something. I don't know. And once you do that, then you can just come in and, you know, just kind of go over them. But if you do this, then it just sets them into the sky. Okay. If you pull anything out, just wipe the brush off on a paper towel. You might get some streaks in there. Go crossed. Very soft. You don't want to kill them though. You know, you don't want to knock them out all together, but there's your some simple clouds that are pretty soft. You don't want a lot in there. Say, so, okay, now I'm going to come in and grab some blue, red, a little bit of this blue, and some brown. What's that? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Here, some of this color. It's like got all kinds of stuff brown, crimson, a little of this in there. It's burnt sienna. Okay, some blue. Okay, now we're going to make a little mountain. And I'm just taking and going like this, grabbing some paint. Okay, and let's see. Boom, boom, let's do it right here. You just kind of, there, see that? Pull that one that way. Just make a little, 
little piece and I'm just grabbing some more off of here without having to pick it up. Okay. So come in here. Oops, make a mistake. Well, fix it. How do you do? You don't need a lot of paint on here because it's gonna we're gonna come in and try to scrape some of it off. See that? Watch this. That goes that way. Maybe come in here. These edges are what we're concerned about, okay? Maybe there's another little one right there. And it just goes this way. And it comes down. These things can get huge on you, so be careful. There. Good. Okay. And I want to scrape some of this off. I don't get too much on there. Like that. See that? See, you can come in and put little knolls and stuff. These in there. They look better that way. Make them so straight that they don't look real. Here, let's get a little knoll in there. There. Mountains are, you know, knoll right there. See? They look better. Scrape some of that off. Wipe off the knife. Okay. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, what I like to do is I'm going to come in here and grab just another small fan brush. should probably work, but I don't want it to be too much. So I'm just going to come in here and grab, like, just a fan brush here. And watch this. And then you can kind of pull the bottoms out. Okay. And now as you do that, it'll lighten up. No, which way this is going to go. We know that's going that way, right? There, just kind of pull them down, and then you can kind of just tap some, some in there and just let it get lighter and lighter. Maybe it comes forward. Who knows, this one might end up in a gallery. Or if, if you're interested and you want it, just shoot me a message, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, there, you got a nice little, little mountain up there. Now I'm going to put some highlights on this. So what I want to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm just trying to think of, holy cow, where the highlights are going to go. I'm going to take some white okay, on this one. Take a little burnt sienna and put that in there. Okay. It's going to be cool. That'll look good, I bet. And let's say the light's kind of coming from this side here. And we're just going to come in and start right here maybe. Start over here. It's going to be kind of tough with these ridges, but I'm going to come in and just let it touch. And let it kind of break. Tap it in, whatever. Okay. Be difficult. Oops. Just pull to the side. A little more on there. Maybe there's a little bit right here. Just let your knife move around and see. Just let it break. You let them break, then the night the, it'll they look better. Maybe there's a little bit over here on this point. Now and it comes down. You gotta open your knife up. See what I'm doing? There, just that looks pretty realistic, doesn't it? A little highlights there. Maybe grab some more. And maybe down here it comes over a little more. Kind of comes down and watch this. Now maybe it has a point there. As you get closer to the bottom, you want to open, you want to flatten your knife out a little bit, okay? Just kind of, there, see? Just have a little fun with those, there. And over here, I might just use the this edge. I don't know, I think I can fit that in there. Too much. Good roll. And just come over here, and same thing. If you want, you can start here. I'll have to start at the top and then just pull that down. Same color, just it's really a little light, but hey. Okay. Come back in, and a little bit goes down like this. Maybe it really shoots back in there like this. You know, see? Just let it pull down like that. Okay. Now I do want to go up the top here so I'm going to come back up and just like right to there see that get that up to the top there so there there's a 
first portion of our mountain and uh, just kind of hanging out up there. You can do this. Now, I'm going to take some blue. Okay, some blue. Dark blue and some white. I'm just going to make a shadow color. Okay, a little some brown in there too. A little brown, a little lighter. See, I'm just mixing up a shadow color. Okay, that looks pretty good. Because this is obviously is a... Okay, and then we're going to come in and... I'm going to... I'm going to try doing this from a different angle because these are I'm just going to come up here and pull this way. See? Cool. Grab there. I'm just zipping it this way. Sometimes it's easier doing it this way. These knives, you just have to practice with them and you can. There, see? Push that up into there and pull. You can come back this way if you want. You know? Over there. There. So you got a little, I'm going to get a little more white in there. There. Okay. A little more white in there. That looks all right. Okay. Same thing. Up here. Grab it. Just kind of come here and pull. There. A little bit here. See that? Just kind of get in those little edges. Right here. Tough when you're, you know, a little bit in there. See, got blue in there. Let's pull it down. Maybe uh, some that comes down. You can come down here. Maybe there's a little bit here you like. There. Pull in just this one here. Sometimes it's easier to see what I'm doing is just grab it and pull in this way. And if you make a mistake, you can come back in and put your, you can come back in and add your, uh, Highlights again. Just see. more down there. Now that looks pretty good. Okay, so if we want to wipe that off, and I do have some little bit on my knife, I'm gonna grab a little more of the highlight color. Maybe I want to come back in and touch that up some more. Go up, down, whatever. There, and there you got your mountains. Okay, you want a little bit here, maybe a little blue coming down. Put that down there, put it in there, put it there. You just don't know where there's little, little, little things happening in there. Maybe a little bit in there. Mix it up a little bit. You know, maybe there's a little ridge right back up in there. 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 What do you think? And if you get too much, I kind of did that on purpose. You just come back in and take this one and just. Cover it up. Go back over it. Okay. There's your mountains. All right. Done. Well, not done, but okay. So we got that done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab oh another brush. Let's do this one, one I had earlier, and I'm just going to grab some of my dark colors. Maybe throw some green in there, some Prussian blue, phthalo blue. And we're going to come in and I'm going to come in and just start pushing in some. And I'm just tapping here, okay? I'm going to throw some more, some more, some more of this uh, dark color in there. There. Get a little of that. Maybe grab some brown too. There. This will be good. This is just going to be some. And we're going to come in here. And this is just going to be where we're going to put our land's going to start, okay? And we'll come in. Actually, I want to try something here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Like in here. I want to bring this, want to bring this down just a little. Okay, pull some of that down. See how I'm following the angles? Just barely touch. Get up in there. There, over here. Grab up in there and pull some of that down. There. Don't ruin it all though. But just how's that look? Pretty good looking mountain. Okay, then we're gonna come over here and start putting in some just some some grass or stuff. Okay. Because this is gonna come down. Get some more. You know, some green in there too. There, put 
some of that in. Hopefully this doesn't fall off. Okay, I'm gonna start by just smacking this in. Okay. And the other side. So I didn't put a lot there, right? Just kind of come in and now it's gonna hit that a color underneath and it's gonna get lighter. And we'll bring it down maybe like that. Get a little more of that dark in there. Yeah, it looks alright. There we go. There, you can pull that up higher if you want. There, and down here. We'll see what we're gonna do. Okay. Kind of like that. All right, come back in, get a little more. I think I'm gonna try to come out here a little more because we're gonna have something cool right there. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna come in and find some more black, or that color. More. Let's see, where is it? Uh-oh, this is where I get slowed down, don't I? Okay, put some blue in here. There, oof, just put a big gob of blue, Prussian blue, because I want to come in here and about here, all the way down. Uh-oh, yeah, let's come over and then just to there. That looks good. Okay, maybe a little more. Right there. See, I'm going straight down. You got to get dark in here because this is going to be the waterfall. Okay, and then down here in the water, we can put some uh, some dark down here. Okay. How's that look? Getting crazy. <laughs> it's getting crazy. Okay. And then what else we can do? I think I'm going to have to do to make it look right is I'm going to have to come in and maybe put a little more of this in right here. A lot of blue in there, but that's okay. A little brown and green in there because this is foliage, right? And I'll come down here. Get a little, see that green in there? Yeah. Maybe we can go. Oh, yeah. That's how it's going to go. I don't want to kill my mountain, but you know it's going to have to do that. All right, next thing we're going to do is I'm getting my knife back, bigger knife. I grab some brown right here, some some more brown. I need more brown. Have some raw umber and burnt sienna, and just put that down. Okay, and we're going to come in here. There you go. I'm just going to get some brown. And we're gonna have to have some rocks up here, right in here. Okay, it's gonna have to come down. Pull that over. Just kind of make a little rock. It's gonna come in. Let's do this. Make it easier. Make it go this way though. Okay. Pull that out. You know there. There's a little rock on that side. Let's take him up a little higher. Put him up here. Okay. There. A little area sitting there. That might come alive. And then we need some over here. Okay. Same thing. Can't be stingy with paint when you're doing rocks. Okay. All the way down. <laughs> See how fun this is? I'm just trying to make it easier. This has changed from what I was originally going to do, but that's okay. Now, go a little higher up here and bring it over. There. Pull that down. Okay. And then I'm almost out again. Maybe we'll. There. See? Make that go that way and then bring that down, down to the bottom. I need a little bit down here at the bottom. You know, I don't know, the rock might end right there. There's a little bit down below. I'll just come in and see. Yeah, it's fun here. Okay. 
That looks pretty good, I think. Okay, and then we can come in and grab some more white. Okay, get some white in there, some brown, more brown. We're gonna need some more brown and some more sienna. Okay, and we're gonna put some yeah, some sienna. Oop. There. Okay, I'm making a mess here, but so now we've got that. We're gonna get some white. Bring it over here. Get some sienna. White in there. A little brown. Same thing. And we can come over here and just have some little, just highlight some of this. Okay, see. And then over here, you can kind of pull that down. Like that. Okay. Maybe there's a little bit coming down here. I don't know. I'm just trying to let it break, look like rocks. Okay. Grab some over here. This has got to be flat up top, right? Right. And then you can kind of go like this. Pull it down, leave it a little darker there, maybe. I don't know. Just let it break. Right there. Okay. Just let it come down. There. How's that look? A little more right over here. Make sure that looks nice. And maybe there's a little lip there. Come back in and get a little darker. Right underneath. Fill that blue in there. Okay. Come right underneath here and maybe pull down. Dark. See? Anywhere you want some blue. You want some of that right there. Some of that down with it. There. Not too bad. Get a little blue in there. There's some shadows in there. Wet. There. Okay. That looks all right. I guess. <laughs> all right. Let's see. What are we going to do next here? Okay. Now I'm going to get some more white. And I'm going to get, I need white. Very thin white. Okay. It's got to be super thin. So I'm going to add some paint thinner to it. Okay, put on my brush. Actually, that's the one I had earlier, but it'll be fine. Thin it up a little bit. Yeah, a little more paint thinner. And this here will be there. And this will be a quick little motion. Okay, and this just comes off. We're going to come this way. We're going to come over. And we're going to come down. Okay. Grab it here, over, and down. It's kind of hard when, you, when you're when you trying to down. There, how's that look? Okay, then we're gonna get to the bottom. We're gonna kind of just do this. And we can come in and see that? Just kind of make a little We'll come back in and get some more white there and make that look a little bit better. But there's our waterfall just crashing down, just crashing down. Okay. Now I want to get, I want to get another brush. So they, you can use this one, I guess. I'm going to come in here and grab some green, some white. I want some green or maybe some orange. And we're just going to make some highlights. A little red in there. I might have to redo this. Yeah, I want it green. I want more green. Because, yes. Go in here and get some green. Yes. There. Some green and some white. Maybe some ochre in there. Okay. I want to get some yellow in there. That's going to brighten it up. Okay. I'm trying to hurry unfortunately okay look there we go that's what i'm looking for and we're going to come in here maybe even have to thin it a little not much not much there knock a little off there we go and i'm just going to open the brush up here okay and i want to get some highlights over here okay on these i'm just going to come in and it's going to be probably pretty highlights because it's so wet here right 
I'm just touching, pulling down. All right, let's get some more yellow on there. Does that look pretty good? Yeah, there, more yellow. Tap that in again, see? Get it right in the brush, brush, brush. There. Okay, come down here and just push that in. Up here. Just kind of make it round them. Don't kill all your darks. It won't look right. Okay. All right. Get put some light in there too. Come over here. Okay. Same thing. No. Tap. Just kind of make little indications, and maybe this one's going to have to come all the way down. Right here. Maybe it comes in and does a little different. You know. Just tap and, you know, bring that down all the way to the water. Got a lot of paint on here, but that looks I like that. And up here it might be bushy and then it kind of flattens down. Okay, and then down here, you want to bring these out. Maybe some go, stuff goes over the rocks, just buries them in there. See? Okay, uh, I think we need a little more yellow. But yellow's working good. It's just. And we'll get to the other side. That's a good brush, by the way. This brush I'm using is a... Uh, get a little more paint thinner on there. Gonna help it come off. This brush I'm using is a... Uh, that's a lot, but that's okay. And here, we're just gonna... 99 center. Okay, same thing. We're just gonna push... Maybe here, open the brush up, don't kill all your dark. You know, just smack it in there. Sometimes you might have to go this way. There, see that color looks good. See, these can hang out. Bury that rock, it looks better that way, see? Watch this, come over here. Now. Down here, maybe lurking down by the water. Okay, there, pretty simple. Okay, nice mountain. I'm liking this, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, let's get a little more. Maybe some orange, some orange in here, maybe a little orange to mix it up. Just gonna smash that in here and there. Orange is a good color. There's some little orangey things growing in there. Like right there. <laughs> now watch this. Stuff laying everywhere over here. We're going to grab this brush here. Watch. Then we might want to just pull some things up. See how that works? Don't mess around with the liner brush and you can just pull these up. It's going to make it look nice. Even here. You know. Pushing things. Is just a random painting, okay? Nothing. You can do little things down here. You know, lots going on. Lots going on. Now at the bottom, if you want, remember I was telling you, if you want, you can darken this down here. Put some dark in there. Okay. There's a lot of paint on here, so it's hard to get off without mud mixing or whatever. See that? A little darker at the bottom. See if I can't get in there and just kind of get some darker. Look at that. Okay, little shadows in there. Kind of a little different down below. And that kind of looks pretty good. Okay. There. So you got some cool stuff down there. And the water line. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to get another liner brush. Okay. Or not a liner brush, but another fan brush. And I'm going to come in and grab some more white. Where is it? Where is it? Be good pure white here. All right? A little bit of paint thinner. Not much. Okay. Maybe thin that white. I'll come down here. Get a little uh, more paint thinner. Sorry. And what I'm doing is thinning this with paint thinner. Okay. 
you can use other stuff, but and I want this to be a little more sporadic down here. And I'm just pushing and bending up. Okay. See, I dug some brown down there. Ain't gonna kill nothing. Come back in. See that brown? All right, though. And then we're just gonna kind of do this. This is what happens when you do wet on wet. Okay. Make a little water coming down. You will run into that stuff. You know, maybe there's a little little things going on there. And there's your looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty done. 35 minutes. Yeah. What else can we do? I think I think I know what else I want to put in here. And I'm gonna need I wasn't gonna do pine trees, but I've changed my mind. Okay. First thing I want to do is grab just a little brush like this. Maybe some brown. There we go. Some brown and stuff. Hey, we'll come in here. Yes. There. Get a little paint thinner on there. You can use a liner brush too. I guess that would have been easy. One here. I'll spray one here. One here. Right there, and we're going to use just a three. A three. We'll just do three here, and maybe one right here. How's that? One, two, three. Good. All right. Where's my Where's my fan brush? I was going to use. Gosh darn it! I had another one. This one. Okay. And I'm going to come in and grab brown, some green, just some of that color we had. We're going to just come in and do some blue. Okay, we're just going to do some, God, we need a lot of color here. We need some green. One green. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I'm, gonna mix. I'm just making a mess here, but okay. Look at that. And I'm going to come in and put a little paint thinner in it too. Not much. Tap. Okay, when you're making trees, you can't skimp on paint, right? And all they're going to do is come in and maybe do something there, there, there. And just kind of come down and just going to kind of throw these in, okay? See how it gets down there and very dark, very dark. Well, maybe throw some red in there. See if that darkens it up. Maybe it browns it up, I don't know. That might work better. Put the red in there. That's better. See how that darkened it up? You can kind of see those down below. I'm getting a lot of paint on here, okay? I'm starting right here and just tapping. There. Again. Start in the middle. Trees are... Okay. And you can work your way out. Just you must want them to kind of look good. Okay, same thing here. Start in the middle. And you can pull him out a little bit. Okay, this is a pretty good size fan brush, so I'm not trying to like up here. I'm just gonna barely touch. Just smack it straight in. Okay, you can put a little limb out there, maybe. You know, those look pretty organic. I mean. Those look good. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and do this one. And sometimes you can start in the middle. And just do it, start in the middle. Okay, and smash them in. When you got all this paint, you just gotta, maybe he comes right there. Get him a little more. Blue, red, some green. I'm trying to get as much on here as I can. Watch this one here. Let's just do this. Okay. You can make them a little bigger. Just try to keep them. Watch this. Pull that down a little. Okay. Maybe his arm goes out a little more. There. He's getting a little bigger. There. I don't want to cover up everything, do we? No. A little more green on that one. Watch this. 
How's that look? One, two, three. So we're meeting our our rule of um, thumb on. We need to have, and then I'm just going to grab some highlight color on that. Come in and put little highlights on them. See? A little more of that. Need some, maybe some orange in there. That's more yellow, because that's going to make it look right. It'll stand out a little more. Get some yellow in there. Ready? A little more. There. No, 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 no. I want yellow and green. And that'll mix good, but give me another fan brush. Come on, I gotta have another one hiding here somewhere. There's one. It's there. Grab a little green. Okay. And I just want to put some more yellow in here. There we go. Gotta thin that a little bit or it won't stick. There we go. I like that. There we go. Hey. Get that yellow. Right on the tip. And boom. There. That's what I was kind of looking for. I'll have a little more here. Just kind of come down and have a little fun here. There. I can get right on that. Watch this. How's that look? Those look like trees, kind of real trees. Yeah. Good. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with my. This guy here, just kind of pull in a few little. Watch this, get a little paint on here. Get a little more of that white. Shoot, some of that, some white. Get it on my bra. There. You know, I'll try to keep it somewhat straight. Over here, you can put a little bit right there, just tap. Tap. There. Another tree. A few things happening back there. You know, just to make some indications. You don't need a lot. You see it's a little darker underneath. And so you have a really pretty, pretty cool painting. Okay. What do you think? I think that's enough. I've got an absolute mess over here. So I'm going to take, grab some red. And I'll grab some red, some paint thinner. I'm going to sign this one. Okay. So easy to do. You can paint these. This is an oval. It's got a lot of color on it. I'm going to come down here and just sign your name fast. Looks better. R T R. There it is. So, hey, thanks for watching this one. And let's see what it took. 42 minutes. Have a great day.